click this video because you want to go over some nutrition mock exam case study practice. So this is fun. I have developed a PowerPoint for my VIP Board Exam Prep Academy students where we just go over multiple case nutrition questions. So after you've had a chance to study nutrition, do you really know everything you have to know for the board exam, either for dental hygiene students or dental assisting students? Let's just jump right into it and let's go over some questions. So I'm going to be sharing my screen here. Let's just go down. Let's just pick something. I'm going to go down here and we're just going to get started with some questions. Okay. So feel free to pause the video if you need longer to think about a question. I'm going to read the question to you and then think about the answer. Whoops. I did it again where I went to the next slide and I didn't mean to. Sorry guys. Okay. So a patient complains of two sensitivity and weak enamel. On further assessment, you discover that they um, frequently consume acidic foods and beverages throughout the day which um, nutrient deficiency is likely contributing to these symptoms. So always pay attention to the question. Tooth sensitivity, weak tooth enamel, you discover they're always consuming acidic foods and beverages. So think, you know, apples, orange juice, apple juice, just there's constant acidity. Even coffee is very acidic. Pop is acidic. Which nutrient deficiency is likely contributing to these symptoms? So what are their symptoms again? You have to go up to the first part, which is to sensitivity and weak enamel. So let's just go right into it and I'll explain the answer to you guys. Sorry, I forgot to highlight it by the looks of it, but the answer is calcium deficiency. Let me just change that right now. Calcium deficiency. So this is essential. Calcium is essential for tooth mineralization and strengthening tooth enamel. Um, when you often consume acidic foods and beverages, this can lead to erosion of tooth enamel and inadequate calcium intake can compromise enamel strength. Calcium deficiency may contribute to tooth sensitivity and weak enamel. So you probably know this, but calcium is really good for the teeth. It, it helps to build, um, it helps to build bones overall, but there's, Teeth need calcium too because of the enamel. It's kind of like a hard tissue. It's kind of like a bone. You know, our teeth are held into place by bone, bones of our jaws, basically, right? So if you're not getting enough calcium, it's weakening the tooth at the same time. If you are getting enough calcium, it's making your enamel stronger and everything stronger. So I hope that helps to make sense a little bit. Let's just move on to the next one here. A patient presents with um, dry, flaky skin and hair loss. On further assessment, you discover that they have been following a very low fat diet. Which essential nutrient deficiency is likely contributing to these symptoms? So not good, right? They have dry skin, hair loss. Um, they're following a low fat diet. For us to be healthy, we do need fat in our diet. It's not bad to have a low fat diet, but you still have to have enough fat in your diet. This is all inside your um, nutrition module. If you're not inside the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy, look in your textbook, look in your chapter on nutrition, and you will see we need a wide variety of nutrients, and fat is one of them. We need to have enough fat for many, many things. But what nutrient deficiency is contributing to these symptoms? Could it be carbs, proteins, fats, or vitamins? Let's just move right into it. It is going to be fats. So I hope I didn't give you guys the answer. I was just talking away, you know, going ahead because it did mention a very low fat diet and I, I gave you guys the answer without realizing it. So I'm sorry. But so as I said, so we're talking about um, fats. Fats are an essential nutrients that play a crucial role in maintaining healthy skin and hair, among other things. A very low fat diet may lead to a deficiency in essential fatty acids, which can result in dry, flaky skin and hair loss. Not fun, right? So everything needs to be balanced. You know, too much carbs, too much fats, too much proteins isn't a good thing. But when you're not having enough, it's not a good thing either. Let's go over one more here skipping through my slides. There we go. Um, let's kind of mix it up. Let's just go down a little bit to answer a different question here. That's not talking about carbs, fats, and proteins. I think they all kind of are. Maybe I'll go up here. Um, okay guys, they kind of all are. Let's just try this one. What do you guys think? So a patient presents with enamel hypoplasia, weak tooth structure, and delayed tooth eruption. On further discussion, you discover that they have been on a restrictive diet with very low calorie intake. 
which nutrient deficiency is likely contributing to their dental issues. If you're a student inside the Board Exam Prep Academy, I have charts for you where I go over vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin A, um, iron, everything, and what happens when you're deficient in those things. So if you're not a student, I'm curious if you know the answer. If you are a student of mine, you probably know this. So the answer, again, is calcium deficiency. So because we're talking about enamel hypoplasia, weak tooth structure, when it comes to the teeth, it's not always the answer, but when in doubt, calcium is probably the answer. If you don't have enough calcium, your teeth aren't strong enough. If your teeth aren't strong enough, when your teeth develop, the enamel isn't strong enough. So then you have problems. So getting enough calcium is crucial and so important. So I hope that that helped you guys. I went over a couple questions I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you want to see more mock exam practice, definitely sign up for the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy. There's, there's one for dental hygiene students, one for dental assisting students. You get full access to everything. It's learn at your own pace. You'll see mock exam practice. You can do as many as you want in one day or as little as you want. You have full access for the entire year. So from if you sign up in November, you have full access until next November. If you sign up in February, you have full access until the February after that. So I don't cheap out. You have full access to everything as long as you need it. And I know I can help you guys pass the board exam. So good luck. Stay tuned for more videos and make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't yet because more videos are going to be up uploaded every Mondays and Thursdays. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.